more coffee, madam. Oh, oh, yes, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, this is the life. Could get used to this, getting waited on. I shall have to invest in the appropriate livery. <laughs> Would you pass the marmalade? Yeah. All of these little pots, they're so cute. Yes, if uh, environmentally dubious. Oh, nevertheless, they are cute, as, as you say. I hope you're not going to agree with me all day. We're married. If we don't argue, it'll not feel like a proper holiday. In that case, I shall endeavour to be as confrontational as possible. <laughs> oh, what a view. Oh, it's a smashing hotel, is this? Yeah. Fizz and Tyrone selected it. Oh, well, they couldn't have made a better choice. The staff is so friendly. Pavel on front desk, lovely. It's from Bratislava, apparently. Well, wherever that is, I'm sure he feels a long way from home. So do I right now, mind. In a good way, I hope. Well, I know that people mean well, but it's just so nice to be somewhere no one knows I'm ill. I feel like I've rejoined the human race. But anyway, all oh, that's back in Weatherfield. Today, I am in my favourite place in all the world with my favourite person. Couldn't be happier. <sighs> now, of course, it's still going ahead. I told you, it was just a stupid misunderstanding. It's sorted now. No! Look, I just want to forget all about it, okay? Right. See ya. Everything all right? Yeah. I'm just Eva. She wants to make sure we're okay for the whole Tina thing. Serve you right if you weren't. Well, you can't blame me for being suspicious. I was confused. I still am. How come you had the hotel confirmation? Ah, uh, Leanne brought it round. Leanne? Yeah, found it at the hospital. Well, what was it doing at the hospital? Well, David must have dropped it when he was visiting Nick. So, um, how was Leanne? Oh, all right, considering she's got a million things to do now, Nick's home. All right. OK, which one do you want? I'm going to concern myself. Well, look, you don't have to wear a tie. The open neck looks always suited you. How about the new trouser look? I'll get them on without help either. Well, I don't think the vicar would approve. Hi, Mum. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Oh, no, no, you are right. Have one for me, though. <laughs> yeah, OK, uh, yeah, we'll see you at the church. OK, bye. What's she want? Oh, she's just having a live night at the bistro with me, Gran and Eva. They're going to get some taxis from there. You should go. You deserve a drink, putting up with me. I'm not leaving you on your own. I don't need a minder. Please. Go. Right, OK, well, are you sure? I'll just grab a gazette while I'm here. It's jobs day. Yes, but there is no need. No, 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 there's every need. A kept lollipop man is still a kept man. I want to pay my own way on this holiday, and that means finding a proper job. Well, in the meantime, I've got a job for you. Oh, your wish is my command. Yes, well, you see, my engagement ring is looking a bit tarnished. Mm. I wondered if you could drop it in at the jewellers for a clean. Oh, I think I can fit that into my packed schedule. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. One for you. For me? Oh, there's a novelty. See you. Yeah. Hey, you forgot your... Oh. Are you all right? Well, it is rather bracing. Oh, no, no. A few lungfuls of this will do me a world of good. Can't beat the seaside. The smell of seaweed and salt and vinegar, the sound of the gulls and ropes slapping flagpoles. It's like all your happiest childhood memories rolled into one. If you could bottle it, you'd make a fortune. Uh, thankfully, some things defy synthesis. There is no substitute for the genuine article. No. There isn't. Shall we have a stroll on the sand? Oh, if you wish. It, it isn't timetable till 4.15. Timetabled? Well, as our time is limited, I have prepared an itinerary. All right. I have scheduled in room for spontaneity. There is a window between 4.45 and 5.30. For spontaneity? I thought we'd start at Madame Tussauds and then take the tramway. Hang on. Does that say terrible, then? Indeed. 
I believe you've expressed an interest in the past. An interest? Well, you know I've always wanted to go there. Oh, it would be lovely watching the dancers. I thought we'd take afternoon tea there. Oh! I don't deserve you. Oh, I hope we're slipping behind already. The waxworks await. Don't worry, right? They're not going anywhere. A couple mm. of cheers. <laughs> no biscuits? I don't see any. You finished them, haven't you? Here we go, typical. Why do you always automatically jump to the conclusion that I'm... <clears throat> Why do you blame me for comfort eating? The way I've been treated. The way you've been treated? You're not the one that's been lied to for weeks. You've not had your life decided for you. I was being proactive. I thought women like the men to be decisive. Oh, absolutely, as long as they don't make any actual decisions. Since when did I ever have a say in anything you did? Oh, well, if you're enjoying your freedom so much, you're welcome to it. I'll start enjoying mine. Good luck to you. There is no getting through to that woman. All right, one's in the family. And you'll be getting one of them if you don't ring me mum back. I'm flogging a dead horse, Michelle. And th th your mum and I are finished. We're getting a divorce. Oh. Well, I won't lie. It's hard going. Even harder for Nick. Well, she never said it wasn't, but it get anyone down. No, I'm fine. It's just... Well, it's hard to find the balance between doing too much and... Doing too little. Mm, all my fellas were very happy for me to do too much. <laughs> well, it's not exactly the same, is it, Mum? They weren't brain damaged. Oh, could have fooled me. Gran, this is serious. I know, that's why I said it. She needs a bit of light relief. She needs a break from it all. No, I don't need a break from it all. I just need my husband back as soon as possible. Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up too high, love. I mean, he might never Of course fight. he will. I know he will, because I know him. And he's come a long way already. He won't give up. He won't give up on himself or us. And that's why I love him. Well, you should be honoured, darling. I only ever wear ties for judges normally. <laughs> Not getting ready? We've got ages. You look good. Mm, so do you. All day, every day. Oh, shut up. Come here. Are you happy? Really? Yeah, really, really, really. Good. Because I feel the same. I just hope this is for keeps. What makes you say that? I don't know. It's just today. It brings it on to you. All the responsibility, like. But if there's anything bothering you, anything on your mind, I want you to tell me. Now. <laughs> wow, well, this has really got to you, hasn't it? What happened to that wild child I fell in love with her? She's grown up. You can trust her, you know that, don't you? Yeah, I know. But come on, you need to get ready, cos I know how long it takes you. Yeah, well, I'd be a lot quicker without the kids. Why don't you look going ahead with Gail? It'd make my life a lot easier. Yeah, OK, whatever you want. Anyway, I don't think Norris is quite ready to see you in your onesie. <laughs> Max! Come on, you're coming with me! Alan Titchmarsh has done me was very convincing. I'm not overly keen on the real thing, so I'm probably not the best judge. And I know it's a running job, but is Simon Cowell's waistband really that high? A few more inches would be talking out of his flag. I can't say I've paid it that much attention. <laughs> this is one of the oldest electric tramways in the world. My granddad used to talk about it. Opened in 1885. A remarkable feat of engineering. Originally, the electricity came from the world. Right. The seawater would wash into the conduits and cause it to short circuit. Accumulations of sand was also a persistent problem. We are on a sea front, you'd have thought they'd have seen it coming. <laughs> Even visionaries have their blind spots. What stop are we getting off at? Uh, I would just consult the itinerary. Oh! Oh, let's go! Oh. We need to get off! Don't be to sit down! We have where to live by now, Roy. Put the whole day plan. Oh, listen, if there's one thing that I've learned, it's that plans are overrated. Let's just live in the moment, eh? There we are, love. Cheers. There must be some reason for it. I mean, you don't just wake up and think, I know, I'm going to get divorced today. I gave up trying to work out what's gone on in your mother's mind years ago. 
She wants a divorce? Fine. The woman's made our bed, let her lie in it. Mm hmm And so whose bed are you going to be lying on then in the meantime? Hmm? Because you can't stop here forever. Your place is with Mum. She doesn't think so. And right now, that's the only thing we agreed on. Well, here we go. Seconds out. Oh, no. Not on my watch. I told you, you're bad. So you can just pirouette on your stilettos right out again. I'm not after any bother. I'm really, really sorry about yesterday. Apology accepted. You done? Not quite. I need the truth. Oh, not this again. Look, I know you're not having an affair. But you have got a secret you were going to tell me yesterday. I let you just a hotel booking. Don't! Don't lie to me. Look, it's nothing to do with me, OK? I didn't want to get involved in the first place. It's David you're with this out with. I just need to know what's going on inside his head. I don't want to lose him. Look, he'll never leave you. He'll do anything to keep you. I know that more than anything. Well, I wish I did. Please, I'm begging you. If you can't speak to David, speak to Nick. Nick? How would I want to do that? Oh, my God. You know. So David knows you. He knows everything. Lost a bob and found a tanner. It's the council that's found the tanner. Five hundred and twelve pounds. And forty-three p. I remember him chasing me for eight years back. I've sort of dropped off the radar. Oh well, you're blipping like a good one now, love. Settlement in seven days. Oh, oh, you'll have to go to the bankerita. No, no, I'm sick of going crawling to a friend out. It's demeaning. Well, what other choice have you got? I mean, once these people have got your address, your telly and your video player won't be far behind. Not once the bailiffs come knock, knock, knocking. Mum, taxi's here. Sorry, we're closed, Dennis. We've got a christening on. You'll have to sup somewhere else. Oh, God. <laughs> if hell has a waiting room, I imagine it's not unlike this. I came to this very arcade when I was a kid. It was magical. The lights, the music, the hustle and bustle. Really? As far as I can see, it's a cacophonous temple to greed and bloodlust. And as for those contraptions, well, one might as well throw one's money off the side of the pier, circumvent the inevitable frustration and disappointment. What, what are you doing? My dad won me a cuddly monkey on one of these. I'm only five. It was just about the most exciting thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. Yeah, it's in his jaws. Yeah. I... Oh, this... Oh, no. Hardly a surprise. No. I suppose it was too much to walk for. Lightning doesn't strike twice. Come on. Yeah, but, 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 you have a credit remaining. Oh, I waste my time as well as my money. Come on, let's go for a paddle. Uh, well, just one moment. It, essentially, it, it's a matter of physics. Right, you're clutching at straws, which is more than that thing could do. Well, however it feet the grasp of the mechanism, if it can gain sufficient purchase, then we have a chance of success. It's just a matter of targeting the appropriate object. Oh, come on, you were right. That elephant there. Uh, yes, he's sitting up nicely. And the loops on his dungarees offer us a fighting chance. Well, I don't ordinarily approve of anthropomorphism. But on this occasion, it may work to our advantage. You've got it, right? Got it. You've got it. <laughs> Let's not got count it. our elephant oh. yet. <laughs> <laughs> My hero. Oh. 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 Shouldn't you be at the church? Shouldn't you? You are Lily's godfather. I was just going. That another lie. Well, I don't know. What... Stop it! I am sick of people taking me for a fool. 
When I asked you whether David knew about you and me, you were lying through your flaming teeth. You knew all about the DNA test, so don't even try to deny it. What's happened? Don't worry. David's kept your little secret. I worked it out for myself, with a little help from Tina. Nobody else knows yet. I was protecting Leanne. All I wanted to do was preserve my marriage. Oh, and stuff what happens to me. Living with the bloke that knows I slept with his brother. When did you find out? What oh, does it matter? He's forgiven you. He was never angry with you. Come on, let's get Lily christened. Get on with your life. Just let me get on with mine. So, he was angry with you? <laughs> David's not the type to let someone like this drop. Come on, we'll be late for the christening. Let's no. just get a cab. No! This is not over and done with. I don't know the half of this. You know what you need to know. He loves you and those kids. He wants a future with you. He wants that more than anything. Because he'd do anything for me, yeah. That's what Tina just said. So come on, Nick, what exactly has he done? was David. No, that's, that started ages ago. How long has it known? A few months. Months? All this time he's been playing happy families with me and the kids and then going out and trying to destroy Okay, you. he was furious. Can you blame him? It's over with. I survived. Oh, honey, just... It was David. He caused the crash. How's the water? Absolutely freezing. Certainly gets the blood pumping. Come on in. No, thank you. When I was young, I received a very painful nip from a velvet crab. And I can assure you, it had a rather more tenacious grip than that arcade machine. I've stayed clear of the ocean ever since. Come on, King Canutes. Get them socks and shoes off. That's an order. Are you really I'm Why coming. Why all tight bit time you're done? Coming. Right, now, just take it a bit at a time. I'm sure it can't be that. Whoa! 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 whoa. <laughs> I bet that won't you. <sighs> Don't worry, it'll get better as you acclimatise. Oh, yeah, indeed so. It's, uh, it's rather exhilarating. <sighs> You see, all these years you've missed out. Promise me you'll do this again. Please, I, I, I'd rather not think about you it. You don't have to. Just nod your head. Why are you shielding a bloke that tried to kill you? Truth comes out. Our marriage is over. And yours is too. You were that... Close to dying. You're walking with a stick. <laughs> You've got brain damage. Yeah, but if I can deal with it, so can you. I'm not saying it's easy. You just gotta want it enough. You think I don't want it? You think you were in a car crash? That were nothing next to my life. And then David came along and everything changed. I had a decent guy for once, a great dad for me kids. A shot at normal. So yeah, I want it all right. You can have it. It's there for the taking. Oh, what planet are you on? He tried to kill you, Nick. He tried to kill you. Well, he did something stupid. He was hurt. He was angry. Yeah, fortunately, I just happened to be behind the wheel of the van at the time. It's him. Be wondering where I am. It's decision time. 
All we've wanted out of this mess is for our families to be intact, and they can. They will be. You nearly died. Come on. You got a daughter waiting to be christened. there'd be more people about. Well, it is a weekday afternoon in October. I can't hear the organ. Perhaps the organist is on a break. I don't understand. Oh, Roy. Roy, over here. Oh, it's shut. What? Yeah, today and tomorrow, routine maintenance work. I don't believe it. It can't be. Well, never mind. It's just one of those things. That's plans for you. I just assumed I was going to check the website, but with all the arrangements and the packing, I I'm so sorry. Well, it's all right. No, it it's not. It's unforgivable incompetence. It's the one thing you wanted to do above all else. The one surprise I wanted to give you above all else, and I can't. Well, will you stop it? You're more upset than I am. It's a shame, but I'll live. Well, for a bit. Maybe long enough for us to come back again. Who knows, eh? Come on. Come on. I told you it was a mistake, them coming separately. Well, she said she didn't want to get ready with the kids nagging her. Well, she does know what time we're due to start, does she? Yes, Graham, what do you think she is, stupid? <sighs> do you really want me to do something? And it's not just Kylie. We're a flaming godfather down and all. Excuse me. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello again. Yeah. Um, I don't mean to press you, but we were due to begin ten minutes ago. Yeah, um, um, Lily's mum's on her way now. OK, good, good. It wouldn't be a problem ordinarily, but I've got a squash court booked for half past three. Oh. oh, and you'll need to get change for that, won't you? Yeah. Anyway, give us a shout when you're ready. I will. What are you doing, Mary? I, I was going to bring sweets, but I didn't want the papers rustling. <laughs> oh, please, Mary. This is a house of God. You can't sit there eating an apple. Well, he didn't mind Adam doing it. I think you'll find he did. What sort of a person brings an apple to a christening? <laughs> well, I think she's very wise. I've been to enough of these things to know they rarely start on time. me for a lift. I thought he was coming with you. Oh, I shouldn't have left him. Why? Something wrong? No, he was fine, but, well, you know how his moods have been since the accident. What, you think he might not show? Oh, I don't know. I'll try phoning him again. No, it's took okay, easier. Oh, and Kylie. Oh, thank God. Well, you're in the right place for that. All right. Sorry about the tower. No, oh, stop apologising. There's still plenty for us to do. I remember the first time I saw you eating this. I couldn't believe it. Never had you down as the candy floss time. I've always had a weakness for it. I think it's its unlikely nature that first appealed. Mm. Did you know one of its inventors was a dentist? Really? <laughs> More than a little ironic. Mm. What would you like to do now? What have you spotted? You cannot seriously be contemplating. Well, not for me, obviously. Let's face it, it'd be short as reading in history. Don't say that. What I mean is, I know my future, but it'd be nice to know yours. That will offer no insight whatsoever. Bunkum. Hocus pocus. It's harmless fun. Come on, boy. As you see fit. And in baptism, God calls us out of darkness into his marvellous light. To follow Christ means dying to sin and rising to new life with him. Therefore, I ask, do you reject the devil and all rebellion against God? We, we reject, reject them. them. Do you renounce the deceit and corruption of evil? We, we renounce, renounce them. them. Do you repent of the sins that separate us from God and neighbour? We, we, we renounce repent of them. them. No. Kylie. Uh, 
Sorry. I can't do this. What's... What's going on? You stay away. You're a flaming nut job. I don't want you anywhere near us. Hey, what would you Get do? away from me! What's this about? Do you really want me to spell it out in front of everyone? Well, I think they should. Just back off and leave us alone. You're my wife. That's my daughter. Yeah. You had to have it confirmed, though, didn't you? That's right. I found the DNA results. You had a test. All right. Now, that is enough. It's enough. Uh, Vicar, um, have you got a more private place where we could... Y yes. Yes, yes, you can use the vestry. But follow me. I'm not going anywhere with him. Highly love. Come on. Now, whatever's gone, this is not the place for it. Come not on. here and not now, sweetheart. Come on. <sighs> Sally, can you look after Lily for a minute, please? Yeah, of course. I won't be long. What's all that about? Uh, I don't know. Best off leading them to it. Well, look, they're your family. Well, Lily's godparents, well, almost. Yeah, it's not a problem. Well, we can't leave your mum and Aldi. Come on. Sally, I have Don't no choice. Touch me! Are you all right, love? Uh, oh, fine. Tickety boo. <laughs> have you had a knockback? Knockback? Job hunting. Uh, oh, oh, I'm just a bit tired. <laughs> Maybe I am an old fuddy duddy after all. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. That cruise will soon recharge your batteries. Did you manage to drop me ringing at the jewellers? Uh, uh, not yet. Oh. Um, I've got it safe, though. Close to my heart. Steady. You'll put me off my hot pot. <laughs> I'll get the drinks. What I did was wrong. Unforgivable, maybe, but you! Ali, I didn't want any of this. Or he made me. Will somebody please tell me what's going on? I did something terrible, Audrey. Something I'll always regret. And yeah, maybe I should have been honest with David, told him straight away, but... I never blamed you. I don't care about that anymore. But you did care. God, how you cared and your brother cop for it. Yeah. I know what you did. And I feel sick that I've shared the same bed. The same house, the same life as you. That you've been around my kids. I think we should go. What's she going on about? What's this got to do with you? How did you expect me to react? Eh? I find it funny or just shrug it off? Like a normal human being. Yeah, you should have kicked off. Given him a slap, chucked me out. Not played happy families with me and start a hate campaign against Nick. You knew what happened. All that time, you behind the vendor. Am I hearing this right? Have you two had some sort of an affair? I'm sorry, Leanne. It was a one-off on Christmas night. We'd split up. Well, you didn't let the grass grow, did you? Why waste a full poster, eh? I was hurt! I would have told you, but Kylie got pregnant. And what? Slipped your mind, did he? If I could turn back... Leanne! Please tell me this isn't true. You tell her, David. Tell her the truth. The whole truth and nothing but... No! OK, then I will. He were behind the breaking. The money going missing, the poison pen letter. All of it. But when that didn't destroy Nick, he decided to go on better. Please don't, Kyla. You tried to kill him. Is that what she's telling me? Well, is it? Is it? Leanne? Leanne, what's up? Mum! Oh, you wait there. I'll look after your mum. Jason, keep an eye on him for me. Can you look after Max it's as well? It's all right, you go. <laughs> Well, that is definitely not a good sign. What on earth is going on? Don't ask me. Do you think all of this will impact on the buffet arrangements? Oh, yeah, it's bound to. I mean, at the very least, the corner of the ham sandwich is a bit curling. Swing so cool and sway so gentle that when she passes, each one she passes goes. Ah. <laughs> that should be your theme song. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> What are you doing? Marking your territory. 
Oh, no, I'm just trying to brighten the place up a bit. <laughs> Nothing brightens it half as much as you. You'll be telling me next to light up a room. <laughs> I'd not be telling you a lie. Save your blarney for your wife. No, her. She doesn't care anymore. We've been in single beds nigh on 20 years. And if I do set foot in no man's land, I get mown down by a hail of indifference. Oh, too much information. <laughs> Listen, Liz, I, I need a woman as hot blood, the same as myself. And I think I'm looking at her. Oh, you'd be amazed at how cold-blooded I can be when I need to. You know, life's short. We're both free agents. That right, Dad, yeah. Oh, Michelle. It's all right, Liz. I was listening long enough to know who's at fault. I'm only flesh and blood. You're flesh and scotch, more like. Look at the state of you, you're blooded. You better go home, Dad, and sort this out. I'll tell you where I'm going. The flying arms. Is that the... Where the abs or the flying horse? Yeah, both. Dad! She's had a fair few stars in here. Most of these are quite clearly photoshopped. I very much doubt that President Kennedy had cause to consult her. And if he did, he's hardly an advertisement for her psychic abilities. Who are you? Hello, love. Come on through. Are you all right? Don't fuss, Ryan. I'm just a bit stiff from sitting, that's all. Hello. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't need my fortune telling. It's my husband who wants a reading. I don't want anything. I see you're a naysayer. Where soothsayers are concerned, yes. You're just grumpy because the tower ballroom was shut. Yes, they're doing maintenance work. Are you a dancer, then? <laughs> no, but my wife is. She very much wanted to go there. Never mind, love. Maybe another time. Who knows? Come on. Well, it could have been worse. At least the kid turned out to be David's. Oh, yeah, that, that makes a difference. Oh, well, technically, they weren't together when he... When he slept with his brother's wife in our honeymoon suite. Oh, well, when you put it like that. How long were they, um... Said it was just one time. He would. Look, I'm not saying I'm blameless. Far from it. Hey, don't you go making excuses for him. After all the tears you've shed over the last few weeks. No, what I'm saying is, if he told me about it, then, well, maybe we could have dealt with it, but he didn't, did he? He lied for months and months. Well, he worked side by side with her. I, I can't get my head around that. Not the one I thought he was. Come on, let's get you on. Yeah. Sling your hook, hop along. You're not wanted. At least let me explain. She's got nothing to say to you. Get lost. The hermit meets the empress and justice prevails. You've obviously got a very happy marriage. That's right. Is this going to take long? Right. You've got the fool. Well, that makes two of us. The fool indicates change, a new phase or a new beginning in your life. Does that mean anything to you? I'm sorry, I refuse to engage with this charade of oh, Yes, it does. Just see what it refers to. The star. What does that mean? It means all your dreams will come true and all those of your loved ones. You know, I, I thought they might somehow. <laughs> the cards are reading very clear indeed. Did you say you wanted to go to the Tower Ballroom? Yeah. Is this something close to your heart? Or something you desire? Yes. Well, it, it was. I used to imagine myself under the mirror ball, dancing so close to you by the carpenters. Do you know it? Yes, it's lovely. I think you should return there. The cards are all speaking in one voice. You've got to follow your dreams. I have listened to some arrant nonsense in my time. If this is what you truly want to do, you must go back there, Haley, today. I promise you, it's your destiny. You can scrabble around for excuses all you want. There are none. This is evil. Pure and simple. Damn right. I saw it close up with Richard. Now I'm seeing it with you. No. You're wrong. Look, I only did it because I didn't want to lose you and the kids. All right, I love you. 
his last words. Time and again, I've given you the benefit of the doubt. Since when? Eh? All my life I've been second best. I mean, you never even wanted me. You wanted to get rid of yeah, me. Yeah, right now, I wish I had done. No, come on, this isn't getting us anywhere. Now, you don't mean that. I mean every word. Come on, love. Kylie. Please, I need you. No. You need help. Me and you are finished. We're going home. Don't you even think of following. Kylie! Gran, can you talk to him, please? Tell him. Oh, David. I'm sorry. I wouldn't know what to say. there watching him old Lily. It's my job to keep her and Max safe. The thought of what he'd done, I just... It's all right. You don't have to explain. Did you catch up, Lillian? Did you blank me? What are you gonna do? Beg. Pray. I gotta get her back somehow. I'll take any blame you need me to. You can say I'm the one that did all the running, it wasn't you. <laughs> no. Thanks. I think she's heard enough lies. What about you? What are your plans? I don't know. I certainly don't involve David, that's for sure. <laughs> You're going to go back to the flat? Not unless I'm invited. Probably just, uh, keep on the sofa in the office. Don't be daft. You're coming home with us. No arguments. We're still a family. <laughs> I suppose you want me to clear up. No, 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 no. Stay as long as you need. Well, I might be longer than you think. Do you want to talk about it? No. There's nothing left really to say. You get off, you got that squash game. No, 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 it doesn't matter. I just want to be sure that you're all right. All right. Oh, Vicar, I'm not all right. I don't know if I ever will be. I, I just lost my wife and kids. They're the only thing that I've ever cared about. There's no getting them back. Well, I can't see any signs of life. Of course you can't. We're on a fool's errand at the behest of a charlatan. Eh? See? Locked. I knew it would be. Well, she seems all certain. Even visionaries have the blind spots. All she could see was your gullibility. And for whatever reason, she's played upon it in the cruelest fashion. I shall write a very stiff letter to Blackpool Council. I assume she's subject to some form of licensing authority. Oh, Hello, Roy. Uh, Haley. My name is Michael, and I am the manager here. Well, pleased to meet you. Uh, how do you, you... This is Blackpool, Roy. Anything is possible. Follow me. Welcome to the Tower Ballroom. But you're closed, not to you. I can't believe I'm finally here. It's magical. I've always thought so. And it's all yours. Though I expect you'd be wanting some music. <gasps> close to you. What 
is going on here? I'm reliably informed he's playing your song. It was this one, wasn't it, Mother? Thank you, thank you so much. I'll come back in an hour. In the meantime, if you can hum it, he can play it. Thank you so much. I am greatly in your debt. Thank you. Oh. At least there was a rational explanation. Oh, boy. <sighs> it's just a shame there's no dances to watch. Well, uh... Perhaps we should rectify that. May I? Well, you want to dance? Well, I, I use the term loosely. Norris has given me a few pointers. I'm no Gene Kelly, but hopefully your toes will survive the experience. <laughs> so have you been having lessons behind my back? I apologise for the sort of you. Foxtrot with Norris is it's one of the stranger experiences of my life. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't all have been in vain. You are the best partner that I could ever opt for. Now, shut up and keep that back straight. Yeah, when you get this call, me, I know you're hurting, but we can sort it out. She'll come round. You've forgiven her far worse. Well, it doesn't excuse it, though, does it? Hmm? What were the pair are you thinking of? I think there was more drinking than thinking going on. Wrong place. Wrong time. Oh, Nick, come on. You're making it sound like it was an accident. Well, it was. Pretty much. Sight more than what David did well. You're going to tell Ian that he tried to... I don't know. Won't change anything between me and her. It's David. I'm taking Lily upstairs. Get rid of him. I told you not to come back here. Look, I just want to talk to my wife If you don't go, I'm calling the police. This is my house. Not anymore, it isn't. I'll tell the police everything. You won't do that. Right now, yes, you would. To what you've done, I don't even recognise you. You're nothing to me. Well, I'm not going to cause any trouble. I just need to speak to Kylie and Lily, that's all. I'll count to five. Just go, will you? For all our sakes. Hey, come on, sweetheart. You did what you had to do. Fish and chips by the sea. You know, it's the only place I ever use a chip for. I've done ever since I was little. <laughs> Wonder why. Probably had sandy hands as a child. That's it. Yeah, I bet that's it. All this time I've wondered. <laughs> you know me better than I do. I'll take your papers. Hey, that's off to Norris. He's a good teacher. I was very impressed today. I think you mean easily impressed. No, no, you were really good. You should keep it up. It's a great social skill. After today, anything else will be a travesty. I'm so glad things turned out the way they did. It was meant to be. <laughs> there was a perfectly logical explanation. You think, of all the stalls and attractions we could have wandered into, we walked into Mary Ann's? I grant you, statistically speaking. And if your itinerary hadn't blown away, I suppose you could I'll say... Admit it, man. It was fit. I will go as far as serendipity. No friend. You and your blessed logic. If you can't believe in magic today, you never will. It's been perfect. On that, we can agree.
be nice if every day I have life could be like this. The tide comes in quick. Yes. You can see how people get overtaken by it. Cut off. Indeed so. Here. Cold. And following Roy and Haley's beautiful dance, you can see behind the scenes video and read Haley's diary as she relives the magical moment at itv.com forward slash Haley now. Coming up, a whole load of famous faces get together to celebrate the one and only Scylla Black. Here next. <laughs> 